time for me to start building my counterflow chiller. Uh, I've got everything I need here. I've got uh, some 1mm wire. I'm going to use this 1mm wire to wrap around uh, the copper pipe to make a spiral so that I create some turbulence with the cold water that runs over top of it. And a coil of 12mm uh, copper pipe and all my brass fittings to go with it. Next thing I have is some 19mm PVC hose. Now this is the hose that's going to run the water through and the copper pipe is going to go inside the center of this so the beer runs through the copper pipe and the water runs over the outside and spirals around with the wire that creates a little bit of turbulence in there Next job is just to check for lumps and uh, make sure that there's no sharp bits poking out. There's one there. Make sure that it gets filed down so it doesn't pierce a hole in the tube or scratch the tube. So let's go through and do that and then we'll attempt to fit this big long copper pipe into that rubber tube with the aid of some um, all of dishwashing liquid is a lubricant. That'll be fun. Okay. I put a carpet mat down because I don't want the pipe scratched as I roll. Next thing to do is to start looking at putting it all together. Chucked on some cable ties just to keep everything tight together. Just want to play around with it. <clears throat> okay, this is where I'm up to at the moment. I've got the joint for the clear pipe in and it's got a pipe clamp on it to hold it all nice and tight. I've got a little mark on the pipe where I'm going to chop the pipe off and that mark should coincide that the copper pipe just comes through into that lip in there. So that means that I can get in there with a gas torch and give it a little bit of a quick solder and um, seal it up but it actually is a very very nice tight snug, snug fit so I might not have to do that at all. Alrighty. Now a good thing is that the triclovers that I'm going to be fitting into the end of here 
to connect up for my uh, beer line, the hole in here fits the copper. So it's not going to clash at all. Um, everything should be fine. I think I might be able to get away without having to weld the copper pipe in the end of there. So I'm going to try it without having to weld it first to see if there's any leaks. Uh, hopefully there's not. If there is, I'll, um, I'll weld it up. Right. And uh, we'll give it a wet test without it welded. So there we go, that will connect on there and away we go. There we go, there's one fitting ready to go. Next one we have a, a swivel fitting for the tap uh, because I've noticed sometimes it's a pain um, to try and connect things up and you need a little bit of movement there so I splashed out and brought a swivel, fil swivel fitting so that I don't get stuck with a tap or the hose going in the wrong direction. Plus uh, there's the bit that uh, we put onto the brass pipe. There's a bit, the half inch connector, NTP connector that connects the uh, plastic pipe to the T. And the reducer that allows me to put a tap fitting uh, directly onto the T. This was just the right inside diameter to create its own thread so it may be perfectly fine without having a hose fitting on it but may is never a certainty so it's better to put a hose fitting on it just to make sure remembering that there's going to be hot liquid running through this and everything's going to expand and contract a little bit This build was actually a lot easier than what I thought it would be. I thought I'd get stuck trying to screw things in and not having any movement, but it appears that everything has come together quite nicely. Okay. Yep, I mean, we're ready to go. Let's have a small leak coming out where the copper pipe meets the connector in here. Um, I should be able to fix it up. The other end has the same thing as well. And it's only it's only small and I should be able to flare out the end of that and just make sure it's nice and sealed or um, try and give it a weld. Other than that there's no other leaks uh, I'll give it all a nice tighten up and um, we're good to go. Now, I tried to solder where the brass and the copper pipe meet just to fill in those little leaks that I had there but it was a bloody hard job to try and get some solder in there and after a lot of playing around I ended up just flaring out the end of that pipe and it seemed to do the trick, it sealed it off quite nicely. Okay, it's time to give this thing a crack. I've connected it up to my kettle and I've got 20 litres of water boiling in there. So first off, let's uh, get the counter flow working with some cold water running through it. I have love, love this bit. I love the way that the bubbles vortex around those uh, wires. It looks really neat. Now 
and my water's boiled and it's resting at 96.9 degrees now um, so I've got everything connected up now I want to control the water flow with my valve um, I also put a pump in line though just in case I needed to boost it now the cold water is going to come out of here and into the sink and I've got the cold water coming in this way and it spirals around and this is where my warm beer will come out now the cold water is at uh, 13 and a half degrees so that's pretty good to cool it down so I'll turn the valve on a little bit and just start the flow um, I've turned the background noise off because I had to rush to go for a pee all the time but um, let's just hold the thermometer here for a while and just uh, see what the temperature stabilizes out at it's slowly increasing just a little bit okay it's finally stopped at 21.5 degrees which is pretty damn good for considering that the water temperature coming out is 95.7 so I'd say that that's a um, success and to feel it the pipe isn't that hot still bloody hot here though where it comes out of the uh, kettle so um, I'll just quickly check the temperature here and just see what uh, the temperature is coming out because it was a bit warm to touch but anyway that's uh, my counterflow chiller um, if you've got any questions please comment uh, subscribe um, ask me anything and uh, yeah cheers thanks a lot for watching